Disclaimer, all the character incident are fictional, everything is imaginary in this episode, so don't compare it with your own life, it's just based on imagination. Your heart were pounding, and every next second, you bite your lips and take a relaxing breath. People were rushing while dragging their luggage with themselves. Your ear were just focusing on announcements for arrived flights. And your eyes were fixed on arrivals flights. Bored, you were waiting for the next flight impatiently. You rubbed your hands together because it was raining outside. Your eyes bright enough when you found your brother's flight arrived. You literally jumped in happiness. Just some minutes later, you found your brother walking out from the arrivals gate. Your satisfied smile were plastered on your lips. You waved your hand to him. He squinted his eyes and saw you around crowd. But suddenly someone blocked his way and they were someone's guard. They were almost everywhere. Your gaze shifted to their uniforms. They were mafia le leaders' guards. Is Jungkook is here, but where? You turned around, then you found him walking to the rival's gate. Where is he going? Your eyes widened and your heart dropped. When you saw him hugging a girl, she was almost as your age. He bent down and hugged her. Even he kissed her on her forehead. You felt like everything stopped for some second. But he wrapped his arms around. The feelings of battery, sadness, and shock, it's all mixed together. How, how, how can he? You can't even spoke up sentence properly. Your heartbeat slowed down. Your throat got dried. Your breath hitched. It can't be true. What happened? Are not you happy? I'm very happy. You look at him and try to make a smile. Then why you run away from airport after seeing me? Nothing is like that. I just got a call from my friend and that's why i came outside that's it are you sure you squint your eyes and look at him come on i know i'm your little brother but don't give me that angry look you smile and shook your head so you are still single or he bite his lips you were from inside but still you were trying to act cool you just become heavy but you take a deep breath and clear your throat i'm your older sister don't dare to ask me this kind of questions what do you mean by this kind of questions you can't stay single forever you need a man shut up you look at the window you have to listen to me while i try to understand you came home 9 pm to 9 am you were sitting on the same pose on the same spot. You were sitting on the chair and while head down on the table. He can't be like this. He doesn't even call me. And where other days he used to call me every night. Does he forget me one night? After she came or she is in his life from the start. Tears drop. You slammed your hand on the table. Your eyes fell down through the window it was raining like yesterday rain soup you hide your face in your palms flashback six months ago the day he proposed it was a rainy day he knows you like rain and he also know you want your future partner propose you in rain so he waited and one day when it was raining he called you outside of your house he was sitting on the bed. You, you rushed to him. Chunko, come inside. It's raining here. He looked up and got up from the bench. He doesn't care. His expensive watch can get ruined in rain. He doesn't care. He was getting wet in rain. When you stop in the front of him, he pulled up the umbrella on you, leaving himself in rain. Why in? You blink your eyes. You look at him, then look around. Like every day, his guards were far away from him. He looked straight in your eyes and spoke in a low voice. I love you. Your eyes become wide. You were in the seventh sky on that time. Will you be my girlfriend, Miss Park Wine? You smiled and noted and it was the magical moment in your life. Everything bright enough for you. You really wants to dance with him and rain like... He listened to your thoughts and wrapped his arms around you before kissing you. You both danced a little. You blink your eyes. 
it was the happiest day of your life and I think from now I should have to hate this rain. You open the door and take out your phone but you were confused. You thought he doesn't call you but your phone was off since yesterday. You turn on your phone but suddenly someone knocked the door. Come in. You look at the door. Your brother came inside. Are you planning to stay in your room for a whole day? You tried to make a smile and spoke. Not at all. He looked at your eyes, then he spoke. What happened, Vyan? You can share with me. Nothing happened. I'm fine. You get up, but he stopped you by coming in the front of you. I know, I'm your little brother, but I'm not that little anymore. Tell me what happened. I had a friend. I'm just worried about her. That's it. You lied. Why? What happened with her? She had a boyfriend, but recently she's seen him with a girl. He sat on the bed, so you sat on the chair in the front of him. It must be his friend. He kissed her on her forehead. Do you still think she is just his friend? Um, she should have to trust him. And if she's seen him really kissing and hugging her, then I thought she should have to break up with him because he is cheating her. I think that. And if she loved him more than her life, then your brother look at you. She was alive before him. And she can live peaceful life without him too. I think she's talking about herself, not her friend. So that's what she said. He suggests you as you tell him about the situation. Why she's not picking up my call? Why and pick up the call, darling? A girl were sitting beside him. He looked at him confusingly. If you miss her this much, why don't you go to her house? He immediately looked at her. Why? That idea did not come in my mind. Oh, thank you. He hugged her. No need, Opa. The girl was his sister who came from America after completing her studies. You pick up his call. What? Madam, I call you thousands of times. Thank God you pick up my call. Where are you right now? I'm outside of your house. We're there. I'm coming. You hang up the call. And you look down. He was standing near the bench, like always, with the red umbrella were in his hand. And unfortunately, it was raining. You took a deep breath. It's all started from there, and I will end everything there too. He smiled while looking at you, but he became confused when you said, "When I am in your life, I can't share you with anyone." And it's all you want then? It's better to let you go because I can't bear that pain anymore. If you are with me, you are just mine. And you want to be with someone else? Let's break up then. Umbrella dropped on the floor from his hand. His soft eyes turned in dark stares. He clenched his jaw on that time and nothing was dangerous than him. You never seen the side of him from six months. What are you saying, Wayne? His deep voice was enough to make you shiver. I want to break up with you. You look away. He rubbed his eyes for calming himself. He looked at you. He grabbed your elbow and pulled you to him. Your hands bump into his chest. You can easily see anger in his eyes. Why you are doing this? I can't live without you and you know how much I love you. Then why? You think you can do whatever you want? Hmm? Can't I? You want to cheat it on me, you can. And if I want to break up with you, then why can't I? You yelled. What? When I cheated on you? When? Yesterday I saw you with the girl in the airport. Tell me I'm lying. Say that. You hug her, kissed her on her forehead. Say that I'm lying. Say that she is not your another girlfriend. His anger vanished in air. He take a deep breath and look at you. She is not my girlfriend nor anything else. She is my sister, Vyan. It was like a roller coaster. I'm sitting on the front seat. The embarrassment like I doubt at him that he is involved with another girl. But she turned out to be his sister. Um, how, how I'm gonna react on it? Ash, stop it. Why you literally you was going to... Break up with him because of a misunderstanding? He looked at you. You were surprised and shocked. So he cupped your face and looked at your eyes. Believe me, she's my sister. I'm not cheating on you, love. You clear your throat and spoke. 
Nothing came in your mind except this stepsister, right? You must like her. I saw the way you hug her. I'm not even beautiful like her. He became shocked. Why and she is my real sister? I think you should have to sp stop reading fictional books. Like seriously, stepsister? Ah, uh, he wants to laugh, but he controlled. He look at your pink cheeks. You know what? He look at his eyes. What? You look more beautiful in jealousy. You chuckled his chest. He doesn't even know you actually started crying in his chest. He wrapped his arm around you. Then he heard your soup. Wyan, I'm sorry, but I love you. I can't even imagine to share you with anyone else. He back on your hairs. I just belongs to you. I'm just yours, my love. You broke the hug and look at him. Promise me you will never leave me. My heart belongs to you. Where will I go if I leave you? He bent down. And the end. Da da. Bye bye. Take care. See you. Love you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.